Now, have you ever found your initials in a rock? A rock could hold your initials too. If you're out looking for fossils and you stumble across one that has your initials, I suppose. Not that I made it because I didn't, but there's a letter right there. Looks like a P. Is it A? Is it U? And there's an L. And if you see your face in a rock, then you know you're supposed to be looking at that rock. I haven't seen my face in it yet. There's plenty, though. These are the ancient stela of the past. They tell the story of all the lives that went before and what happened and who did what. And what creatures existed. There were many that we are so unfamiliar with. <clears throat> a man that <clears throat> I look to for a bit of information regarding this stuff is David Hatcher Childress on his YouTube channel Adventures Unlimited. He has uh, stories about the Olmec and the ancients from South America. And he also ties them into uh, the inhabitants of the Pacific coast as well as the Atlantic coast because the civilization that existed in Mexico, the old Mex, uh, and South America existed on both the Atlantic and the Pacific coast. And yeah, they used a lot of imagery that we're just unfamiliar with today, but still they're trying to shout out to you and tell you what it was like back then. This is when the Cascadia stood tall and the ancient miners set up their shop. then along came a flood later and wiped so many out. The legends of the Shasta Indians speak of a time when only the very top of Mount Shasta was visible above the waters. It was a great deluge that came in off from the uh, Great Lake, when it broke of this region, when the dikes broke down and all the waters flooded in, great tectonic movements, masses of people and animals washed down, lives gone, buildings and edifices destroyed for the most part, although in the eye of the Giants, there remains indication of their homes. 